Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everybody. Good day. I'm Tasha Maharani Ramadini and I'm going to present my research which entitled The Rhetorical Moves of Abstract Written by the Authors in the Field of Hard Science. To make it short, here is my outline of this presentation. Now let's begin with the introduction. One activity that should be done by academicians in composing journal article is to represent their research in a short, brief way. In representing their research in a brief way, they should make a good abstract. Abstract is the shortest part of journal that is positioned at the beginning of journal article and is a factor whether a journal article is interesting and meeting the requirements of the author's guidelines. In order to be published in international journals, scholars are required to write cross-cultural abstracts in both English and their native language. For researchers who are not native in English, writing abstracts uh, using English is not easy. The researcher chose abstracts from academic journal papers as the focus of the analysis since the abstract is worth investigating. The researchers want scholars to know how to write a research paper by first learning how to create an abstract that can be accepted in an international journal. The other explanation is that the researcher hopes that Indonesian academies will be able to improve their chances of publication in the future. For the significance of the study, the objectives of the study is to find out what rhetorical modes used by academicians of hard field abstracts and what linguistic features realize the rhetorical modes. This previous study is still um, understudied and have limitation and suggest other researchers that are in that are interested in discourse analysis to discover more about this study. The study aims to know the dominant rhetorical moves used by scholars of hard field science. Another aim of this study is to discover linguistic features realized in the rhetorical moves. Now we have the literature review. Swells, 2004, stated that moves in Zangru are functional units that can be optional or obligatory. Some moves occurring regular, regularly in the Zangru are considered obligatory. Others occurring less frequently are considered optional. Four, 2008, also expressed each move has its own open reason, which along with different moves, as to the overall informative reason for the content. Next, we have methodology. The study was designed as a qualitative state, as a qualitative study. Particularly, the study employed Zangra approach move analysis to analyze the data. Highland, 2000. The reason is that move analysis can capture the similarities and differences of rhetorical moves manifested in the research article abstracts from hard sciences written by academicians. This method also allows the researchers to record move analysis and the linguistic features applied within the academicians' abstracts. For the data resources, the main data of this article journal is a small corpus from eight academicians' abstracts. Uh, the abstracts are from academ academicians from Faculty of Sports and Health Education, Faculty of Technology and Vocational Skills Education, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Science Education, Faculty of Economics and Business Education from Universitas Pendidikan Indonesia. The corpus contain 1,591 words with an average 198 words for, year, for each abstract. For the data collection, uh, the researcher uh, started with collecting academicians' abstracts using Google Form, then asked for the permission to use it as the data for the analysis. 
after all papers were downloaded from Google Form, uh, I stored a uh, default in a folder. Then I, as the researcher, extracted the title page along with the abstracts from the full text article and saved it in a Word file. For the data analysis, a series of discussion was conducted online due to the pandemic of COVID-19. Um, some discussion was done uh, to determine the timeline for the analysis process. The second discussion session was done to synchronize the understanding of all researchers regarding the concept of move analysis through move analysis and to explain Highlands 2004 uh, theory, revised model of introduction, purpose, method, product, and conclusion. After that, um, the researchers were recruit, were recruited, recruited and assigned a task to analyze one research article uh, abstract to get more accustomed with the analysis model. The third discussion session was done to check the results of the preliminary analysis. Some feedback was given directly to the student researchers' works. Afterwards, the researchers other researchers and last the eight selected abstracts independently. Now we have the findings. Uh, in rhetorical moves of the abstracts, the researcher find the salient, the salient move and steps in the abstracts that are used by the academicians of hard science field. For the discussion, um, move one occurred for 60% in hard science field abstracts. This move was pointed to establish context for the paper and motives for the research and discussion. This move is a conventional move. Here is the example. For move two, uh, this move occurred for 100% and considered as obligatory move. This move is function to indicate and outlines the intention behind the paper. For move three, uh, move three occurred for 100% in hard science field abstracts. Move three is considered as obligatory move. This move is intended to provide information for designs, procedures, assumptions, approaches, and data. In move four, uh, move four occurred for 100% in hard science field abstracts. This move also is considered as obligatory move. The last one is move five, conclusion. This move occurred for 80% within this hard science field abstracts. Move five is considered as conventional move due to its salience. This move is intended to interpret results, draw inferences, points to application or broader impl implications. Next, we have the linguistics realize, realization of the moves. The findings show that uh, the voice and tense that the authors uh, like to use is active voice and present tense. Some order reflect moves and stops more comfortably in active voice. Regarding the use of tense, the difference between using past tense and present tense are not really unbalanced. Some orders comfortably use present tense while the rest use past tense. In the use of present tense, simple present tense, present continuous, present progressive appears. For past tense, uh, there are simple past tense, 
past perfect and past perfect continuous that were used by the authors. For the conclusion, this study has addressed two research questions. First, what are the rhetorical moves that used by the hard science field academicians? And the second one is, what are the linguistic features that are realized to support the rhetorical moves? Moves used by the orders of hard science field abstracts are distinguished into three types. First, obligatory, second, conventional, and uh, the third one is optional regarding its salience. Regarding the linguistic realizations which support the rhetorical moves, such as active voice, passive voice, present tense, and past tense, active voice, the finding exemplify that there are linguistic features that are mostly used and least used by the orders of hard science. Here are the references that I use for uh, this research. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.